it's time to be your gym bro and show you how to buff up your keep. Whether you're a K40, K35, or a new K30, this guide will tell you how to get jacked for that perfect Instagram worthy keep. So let's get into it. The buffs that we're going to cover are attack, defense, HP, and march size. And specifically, we're going to go over the difference between flat and percentage refines and when you should use them, and how to calculate when march size is more beneficial to you than your attack, defense, and HP. You may be asking why we're not talking about siege range and archer range, and that is because I'm working on that for a different video. I've been doing a lot of testing on that, bringing up some calculations. Even bought my first Civ gear, uh, the Choreo Bracers, to test the siege ranges. Thankfully, I was making my purchases on one of Aptoid's promotion days and saved over 24% so I could afford this new uh, bike that I bought from a kid in the neighborhood. And I know what you're thinking. Are those limited edition Odyssey Twisted PC pedals? And yes, they are. You can't find these bad boys anywhere. So if you aren't already using Aptoid to be more responsible when you waste your money, what are you waiting for? It's safe, Evany approved, and I'm already saving 23% on my purchases. Just make sure you're using the promo code REDWIFI and making purchases through Evany. Topping up on app coins only saves you 10%. Watch my video on how to set it up with your Android or emulated device. And if you have an Apple device, you're probably already used to overpaying, so you can disregard all this. 1,000 mounting units with 500% attack and HP buffs are effectively as strong as 6,000 mounting units without any buffs. This is assuming that your defense remains the same. Debuffs will only debuff percentage buffs up to a maximum of half of the original buff. Debuffs don't affect flat, or static buffs. This brings me to my next point. Which are better for your gear? Flat refines or percentage? I think most players understand that flat refines are better for low tier troops, while percentages are better for high tier troops. I will tell you that flat buffs are almost always better defensively and offensively, and I'll prove it to you. Let's look at this chart and show the percentage equivalent of flat buffs. So what this chart is doing is it's taking the maximum flat refine on Ares, Akamenidae, and Civilization gear and comparing that to the base values of all the different tiered troops. So for instance, the maximum attack refine for a ground unit is 513. So for a tier 1, that 513 would be equivalent to 513% buff. As with a tier 12, it's 21.2%, and a tier 15, it's 12.1%. We can tell why the tier 1 walls work so well. You have 500% buffs on your tier 1s for every refine, so that's 2,000% buffs for every gear. And that's not even mentioning like your dragon, for instance. And when you go down the line, you can see it all the way down to like tier 12s. It's 21.2, 21% for the attacks. When you go down to tier 14s, it's 14.4 or whatever. Now, I want you to also consider this. These buffs cannot be debuffed. And a lot of times when you attack somebody, you get fully debuffed, especially in the later stages of the game. And if your buffs aren't you know over two thousand percent you're probably gonna get fully debuffed so if you look at these as the half equivalent to the equipment refines for instance we're looking at tier 12 21.2 percent on aries gear you can get a maximum of 25 percent refine and on civilization gear it's a 30 percent so if you get fully debuffed on civilization gear well, now it's an equivalent of 15%, right? And when it comes to tier 14s and tier 15s, buffs are going to be better. Uh, however, all the other ones below it, it really depends on the enemy's ability to debuff you. A common strategy is to use the tier 11 siege rally. And as you see from here, the flat refine will give you an equivalent of 26.4%, which is better than what you can do with Ares or Akamenide gear. And when it comes to civilization gear, which is a 30% buff, 
Remember, that can be debuffed, and Siege Attack is one of the most commonly debuffed buffs there are. Now, I would recommend using percentage buffs for things like your mounted attack. A lot of people don't debuff mounted attack, and also you want those percentage buffs on your mounted generals for fighting monsters. Monsters probably don't debuff you. I haven't really tested that, but I'm assuming they don't. Another one would be ground attack, for instance. Ground attack is pretty fairly difficult to debuff. Another reason why you'd want to use percentages over flats is if you don't put that many lower tier troops in your layers. So if, if you're attacking and you're only attacking with mostly tier 14s or tier 15s, yeah, you probably don't need those flat refines as much. Uh, also, if your buffs are just incredibly high already, like if you have 2,000% buffs already, you're probably not going to get fully debuffed. So just maintaining a high buff works. And this is all for attacking. For defense, you should almost always, always use flat refines. The only uh, refines I can think of that you could do percentage that would be all right would be something like HP or defense. Because the top tier troops are going to be attacked first. So if you have a really strong tier 14 ground wall on your defense, you may want to get those percent buffs because your ground units are going to be attacked first. Those top tier ground units are going to be attacked first. However, the rest of your troops are going to benefit from flat refines. So make sure that you take note of that when you are refining your gear. Moving on to March size, I made a table to demonstrate the buffs required for a base 10,000 March size to be equivalent to 100,000 troops with no buffs. Looking at the bottom of the table, you'll notice that the 10,000 units with 900% buffs with zero March size increase is equivalent to 100,000 troops without any buffs. Now, if we look at the middle of it, you see the 20,000 troops. That's effectively 100% of 10,000, so it doubles it. And with a 400% buff on the attack and HP, we are now equivalent to 100,000 troops. And on the very top, you'll see that without any buffs, you have to have a 900% a march size increase, which is impossible to achieve, and you'll get 100,000 troops. What this table is telling us is that without any buffs, any uh, attack or HP buffs, your march size is pretty useless. So as your buffs get higher, you know, once you get into that 800, 900 range, you'll notice that march size of just 11% difference will give you that increase. They'll bump, bump your increase up to what would be equivalent to 100% attack and HP. And imagine if you had, you know, 2000% uh, buffs march size becomes very significant. This is why I believe Roland is the best free mounted general. Let's compare to take a look at the real value the march size has given Roland compared to Martinus's superior attack. If we calculate all my march buffs, which some are not easy to find, such as the rally spot, duty general, his specialties, VIP, rank bonuses, civilization items, you get roughly one and a half million march size with no generals and no march size buffs. And this is from a base of 350,000, which is the K35 rally spot base amount. Next, we will assume mounted attack research and equipment is 1000% without including the general and ignoring flat buffs for simplicity. Martinez will give you 376.6% attack and that's without an attack skill book since he is unable to equip one. Roland will give 356.4% attack with an attack skill book. And he gives you an additional 16% march size. And neither of these generals will have the march size uh, skill book equipped to them. I pull these numbers from ebonyguidewiki.com and highly recommend the site, especially when you're comparing generals. It's an invaluable source of information. So let's compare which general will give me the stronger march. Martinez will increase the overall attack by 37.7%, and that's because our attack was already 1,000%, and 
and 376.6% increases it by 37.7%. Roland will increase the overall attack by 35.6% with his attack buffs alone, and an additional 3.7% with his march size increase. And we calculate this by taking that 16% march size increase that he gives to our base march size of 350,000 and dividing that by our total march size. This gives us a total of 39.3% overall increase in attacking power. Not to mention, Roland has a superior defense and more troops will also mean more overall HP the enemy has to kill.